Chef Mo, boys are D. I say it's Chef Mo, boys are D. Give it up for Chef Mo, boys are D. Oh yeah, Chef Mo, boys are D. In his house. Hey, I'm making one of my favorite Chinese dishes today. We're going to make egg foo, young foo. Yeah, we're going to get on it. First things first when making egg foo young is you got to make a gravy. So you got some chicken broth. This is homemade chicken broth, but you don't have to have homemade chicken broth. Put some soy sauce. You got some oyster sauce. And we got some cornstarch that I uh, mixed in some water. And you mix it up a little bit. You bring it to a boil. And when it comes to a boil, you put it on low. And it's going to thicken up and become a gravy. So, yeah, I'm going to add, actually, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, sesame oil. A real tiny bit. You mess, this could mess some stuff up, so you want to be careful with that. Optional. There you go. Soy sauce, oyster sauce, cornstarch. You bread you good to go. All right, I'm gonna get back at you when I start my ingredients. <laughs> Not that we do that. You good to go, Marco? All right, now we got some hot grease and a little pan here. I'm gonna get my uh, ingredients for the egg young ready. I got some celery since it takes a little longer to cook. I'm going to grab a spatula and crock I got from the Dollar Tree. They've been hooking me up at the Dollar Tree. This is not a Dollar Tree dish, though. Today, get some rice from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to eat with my egg. We're going here a little later. So my rice cooking right now. Age is like that sticky rice. My friends used to laugh at me when I was little. He was like, But you like a, you like, I went to the Asian school, they say, you like, you like a loose rice? Who has loose rice? Uncle Dan got loose rice. <laughs> All the rice don't come from China, stupid. No. Nah. Shout out to my homies from back in the day. Big Jim. Ooh, Lou. Sai. Benoit. All y'all. All my homies from back in the day. Used to let me eat over your house. The same karaoke. Good old days. All right. Now that got to going. We're gonna do. Uh, actually, let that cook up a little bit. Uh, we ain't gonna overcook this because it's gonna cook in the egg mixture. We're gonna put it in here in a little later. So now we're gonna add these mushrooms in here. It's quite a bit of mushrooms. A little flavor. I'm gonna add some pepper. A little soy sauce, actually. I'm gonna use up all my. little non-stick spray so I don't over oil it you know because we try to do it a little bit healthy here this ain't this ain't too bad you know but you get too much oil saturated in there which 
when we come to the frying process, you know, that's when, so, you know, whenever I can alleviate now, then we're going to throw our shrimp in here. And I chopped the shrimp up a little bit. Turn it off. All right. Last ingredient that I add in here because they cook very fast is my uh, bean sprouts. There we go. Put the bean sprouts in here. And you know we ain't gonna. And it's time to rock and roll. Alright. Okay. Alright, I got six eggs that I beat right here. And this mixture here. It looks like, I don't know, it might be too much mixture for the eggs, but screw it. <laughs> and maybe we'll say this. I'm going to think how much work with that. See what how this mixes up. Mix that up together. Cause we're gonna put this in a hot grease, kind of like an omelette. And a little bit more here. This is a char. This is a. This is right as of right now. This is a charmaine. Put it in here, becomes an egg fouillon. Charmaine, egg fouillon. I just realized that because I'm smart. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. I had a little broccoli in there if it was a charmaine. But alright, so, good to go. Peep it. All right, we got a couple more here. We're gonna try to knock down. There you go. do it. Gotta feed my ulcer. Damn. Play with a nice little healthy amount of steamed rice here. Two. That ladle, that ladle back, the you know, wrenches on it. This will be edited out. A little bit of gravy. There we go. 
Et bouillon.